um, is this thing that can't get printed on public Wi-Fi, like the public library in the um, credit, um, one of the credit bureaus, is that a safe site? Or can my credit, uh, well, it's, it's, credit it's not the site that you have to worry about right. any public connection that you're placing your personal information into, you just kind of have to be weary about. In today's age of cybercrime, um, it's, you just have to be careful where you, the site itself is secure. If you look at the top, you see the lock, that means uh, in the address bar, if you see the lock, that means that's an encrypted site. So your information will be encrypted as it's going over the air. But that doesn't mean as you put it in, there isn't a key logger or something mm. at that site at that computer where watching somebody's you. watching you asking you to record your information. And Joe, if I can add to that, Angela, um, if you have a job like I have, I have to be careful what personal I check on my jobs computer because there's this whole other department that does nothing but check on what, what I put in as a character, mm -hmm. what I Google, what I message to my group and so forth on. So be careful of that atmosphere as well, that environment, your workplace. Um, may not be for your comfort the safest place to, to right. check. So maybe if you, maybe if you have a friend or someone you trust and they have Wi-Fi at the house, um, maybe that'll be a good idea. Or on your cell phone. Oh, oh okay, yeah. Or right from your cell phone. Yeah, you could go from your cell phone. I'm in a, I'm in a credit union, 10 miles bank. Check it for me, security. I don't know if the bank will check it for you without trying to give you a loan. I mean, now, if you try to get a loan on a credit card, they'll definitely run it for you. Yeah, they'll run it, yeah. <laughs> they'll run but it in. If, if they run it for you, if your bank runs it for you, either way, that becomes a hard hit, which would decrease your score as well. But a lot of people do not know. These are, like I said before, these are private businesses. And they're, they're, they're for-profit businesses. That's their job. The uh, erroneous things on your report they are not necessarily the things that you did not do. Of course, those are erroneous, but sometimes when you have improper paper keeping, improper bookkeeping, okay, there are things on your credit report that shouldn't be on there simply because they didn't follow the rules, okay? okay. When you don't follow the rules, if you don't get your license renewed, you didn't follow the, 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 the tag on your, on your car, you didn't renew your registration, what happens? You go to jail. You're punished. So, in retrospect, when creditors have erroneous things on your credit report that they didn't follow the rules, they have to take them off because they didn't follow the rules. And that's what a lot of people don't know. They didn't follow the rules, those things have to go. And once you go through and see what things you keep and what things should go, I'm not saying not necessarily you should have closed those cards because when you close those cards, you also closed off a credit history. Okay, if you had a car 10 years old and you had a couple bad payments, yeah. hey, get over those payments, keep going. There's ways that you can get those people to actually take those bad payments off, those missed little late payments off. Okay. But when you close it, you shut down that complete credit card history, which will affect your score in a negative manner. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay.